In this video, we're going to have a look at five different but related functions, lower, upper, L trim, R trim, and trim. So we've got a string here, hello there, capital H and everything else in lowercase. If I want to have this all in lowercase, then all I need to do is put the function lower, and then what I want in lowercase in brackets. So now I've got hello there. If I want it all in uppercase, then I'll just say upper. So notice it's upper, not U case, which some other languages might use. So there we have hello there. Now there isn't such a thing as proper, for instance, or title case or anything like that. You can see the autocomplete not allowing me to do that. So what happens if, for instance, you want this result, hello there, but you're starting off with who knows, maybe lowercase h and then two capital L's and that sort of thing. So we can't really use lower or upper by themselves. What I've got to do is get the upper of the very first letter and then the lower of everything else. So we've had a look in an earlier video at left, right, substring and that sort of thing. So I want to have the left character of this, and then I want to have everything else. So that is substring of this variable, starting at position two, because the first character is number one, and then going as long as the string goes. So that is the len of the string. Now, actually that will take me one too many, so I can deduct one from that, but it will work perfectly well if you overshoot. So saying len of string would work just as well. So if I have that, the first character of the string and then everything else, you can see that we have H and then L there. So this first bit needs to be in uppercase and the rest of it needs to be in lowercase, like that. So now all I need to do is join them together with a plus or by using the concat function, which again we've looked at in the previous videos. So there we have hello there. Now it won't work if I've got a space right at the beginning. If that happens, then the space goes to capital and everything else is lowercase. So what I need to do is remove any beginning strings, maybe strings at the end. And I can do that with the function l trim. l trim removes any leading spaces. So you can see no leading spaces there. You can see it probably better if I put in a dot at the beginning and at the end. So if I run that, you can see a space right there. Whereas if I put an l trim before it, then this space disappears. And so if I was to rewrite this, instead of at sustring, I put L trim of sustring everywhere where I put it. Starts to look a bit more complex, but you can see how it builds up. So even with this space right at the beginning, it works properly. And as a programmer, you need to be aware that things do happen. Let's put a space at the end. This won't affect this because this just says, give me the rest. But if we have a look at what happens when we just use L trim, then you can see we still have a space at the end. We need to use R trim to get rid of that. But that leaves a space at the beginning. And what we previously had to do was put L trim and R trim together like this. But from SQL Server 2017 onwards, we can now just put trim. Now do bear in mind that this is from SQL Server 2017 onwards. It's also available for Azure SQL Database, Azure SQL Managed Instance as well. If you are using SQL Server 2016 say at work, then you will find trim may not work. You will need to use L trim, R trim. Now there is one additional thing you can do with trim. And you can say, I want to get rid of a specific character. 
from the string. So you can see how that is built up. The character I want to get rid of from and the name of the string. Now you'll notice that it hasn't got rid of any of those characters in the middle. So if you are using other commands such as replace, then that would get rid of the space in the middle. But keeping it to trim just gets it from the beginning and the end. Now you can change this character. So you could say, I want to get rid of periods or dots from the beginning and the end. And it will do that. Now you can actually specify additional characters. So you could say, I want to get rid of any commas or dots, for instance, from the beginning and from the end. And it would do that as well. So why might you use this? Well, maybe you have got access to some data, but it has, this is my data. And to keep it all in line, it's got lots of dots. And we have a date and a dollar amount. And you might have access to that, for instance. And you want to say, I want to get rid of any dots which are at the end or the beginning, but not in the middle. If you're doing that, then I would use trim. But do bear in mind, this is only available in trim. It's not available in L trim or R trim. And those, you just remove spaces. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you like it, then please click the like button. And why not subscribe and click the bell next to it so you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you for watching this and keep learning.